Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have another amazing word of direction to someone who's watching and listening to me right about now. Brothers and sisters, remember that every single day I release words to direct you. Also, I always go live. I do a live stream on this channel. So it is important that you get connected to this powerful ministry so that you are able to get to know when I am live on this channel. Brothers and sisters, the word is going to bless you. Before I begin this word, I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so by sending uh, your giving through my PayPal, which is in the About section. If you have other ways which you want to give, you can send me a message and I will respond to you. My email is in the About section. Brothers and sisters, today's amazing word is someone has been attacking you heavily attacking you but it's not who you think it is because your enemy has been hiding his or her identity they don't want you to know their true identity but i want to tell you that their real identity will be revealed they are going to expose them they have been hiding in the darkness thinking that the darkness will hide them. But the Bible says it clear that you are the light of the world. The light that is in you is going to expose the enemies. There is nowhere they can hide. There is nowhere they can run to. When God gets into your situation, your enemies will fall to the ground. Because Jesus has had victory over your enemies. Jesus overcame. The Bible says it clear that having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Jesus made a public spectacle over your enemies. It was public. It was known. It was not something that is hidden. So when your enemy is caught, he is going to be uh, frustrated. He is going to be put to shame. They will be put to shame. I love the word that says, show me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. When God shows you a sign of his goodness and your enemies see it, when they see it, some of them will want to attack you. But it will be too late because they'll be put to shame. There and then, they'll be put to shame. So I want to encourage you to trust in God. That God will expose the works of your enemies. God will expose them one by one. Each and every negative word that has been spoken against you, some of you, God is going to expose it. You'll be shocked. You think your enemy is this person. But when God begins to expose them, you realize that even the closest person that was next to you was your enemy. Even the person that you trusted as friend was your enemy. Even the person you thought was family was your enemy. But hiding, they were wearing a mask of disguise. Some of your enemies have sent spies. Spies. Who, some of you, it is very hard for you to detect those spies unless you have the spirit of discernment. Some of the spies come in real people. Some of them take on the form of animals. You find this, a, a, an animal on the street, a kitten on the street. You think it is a cute kitten. Yes, it's cute, but it could be someone hiding in that. You find a dog, you find it, you think it's a cute dog. That's why you see, before you take something home from the streets, pray about it. 
Even when you receive a gift from someone, pray about that gift. Anoint that gift. Anoint your animals. Anoint your house. Because we are living in a very dark age. An era that is filled with witches. A dispensation where there are a lot of diabolic activities that are taking place. And you need to be awake. To be able to overcome. There is no time to allow the spirit of slumber to get in you. You always need to pray. Because prayer works. Prayer is a way to communicate to God. And when you communicate to God, God will communicate back to you. To let you know of the enemy's plans. And having known the enemy's plans, you'll be able to overcome them. You'll be able to walk away from them. You'll be able to strike your enemy at the weakest point. You'll be able to know their weakest points. Because your enemies are so weak. That is the reason as to why they hide themselves. That is the reason as to why they come in, in mysteries. That is the reason as to why they come in darkness. Because they are so weak, they don't want to be reveal themselves to you. Brothers and sisters, stand on your ground. Stand on the promises of God. The Bible says that the promises of God are yes and amen. His promises will come to pass. It will come to pass. No matter what your enemies say. No matter what they try to do. If God has said you are going out of that affliction. If God has said that you are having victory. It doesn't matter who says you are going to be defeated. The truth is you will have total victory over your enemies. I repeat, you will have total and complete victory. Not half victory. Not a quarter victory. But total if you trust in God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this powerful word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Keep on praying. If you want to send me a message, do send me a message through my email address. Until next time, God bless you.